of otolaryngology and has worked in India for over two decades as a very eminent surgeon. He has already published 20 notebooks towards medical journals and uh, this morning he's going to just share with us a better understanding of what the project is about. I hand it over to Dr. Chris. Thank you so much. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, honored guest, uh, Mr. Salman Khan. Honored guest, Mr. Baba Siddiqui. I'd like to really thank you for making the time to be here, sir. We really appreciate your presence. I just had to share with you what a cochlear implant entails. We have uh, 20 million people who are deaf in India. This is an extremely expensive device, but it is the only device that uh, allows people to hear. It is called the cochlear implant. I'd like to begin with just by showing you what a cochlear implant is. As you can see that um, uh, this is our state-of-the-art operating room in Holy Family Hospital. We have the best microscope on the planet, all given by our executive director, Sister Aquinas, and Mr. Felix and Dr. Shenoy. As you can see, we have a state-of-the-art microscope out over here. We have a state-of-the-art uh, operating room. Uh, this is, uh, again, the, the, the procedure that we are about to do through the microscope. Obviously, people who are deaf in both ears had no ways of hearing, and they were doomed to a life of isolation. And they were even beyond the advantage of a hearing aid. The cochlear implant stimulates the cochlea directly and allows people to hear and reintegrate themselves in society. Uh, these are, um, we've done... Uh, 10 patients, now 10 might look like a small number to you, but when you look at the cost of the implant is uh, five and a half uh, lakh Indian rupees. It's beyond uh, most of the uh, expenses. <clears throat> so these are some of the patients that we've implanted, some of, who, some of whom are in the audience here with you. Uh, as you can see, I'm just about to show you the steps of the surgery. Uh, we've entered a test device. Now this is extremely skilled work and there's no room for error. Um, I happen to have the best training. I trained at the University of Minnesota, and then I moved on to Nashville, Tennessee, where I trained with the grandfather of all these technologies, Dr. Michael Glasscock and Dr. C. Gary Jackson. And um, I was there for over a year and a half, and they can repeat notes and so on and so forth, but we made it. And all because of the encouragement of the Sisters of Holy Family Hospital, the administration, Mr. Felix, Dr. Shenoy, uh, Pradeep, Lydia, a social worker, and of course our dedicated team of audiologists, Sneha Satham, Aditi Arora, Nahi Jumani, and Shivaraj Bhumte. I'd also like to thank uh, my, uh, co uh, my colleagues, Dr. Peter Rodericks and Dr. Borkar, who've also been there for every meeting that we've held. Now this is the device out over here. As you can see, this is the, the, the cochlear plant. It looks like a small tree. I'd like to thank Medel Company, uh, very much Prem Ranjan, um, Sheetal, and the, the team, Mr. Singh, 